Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sniper Elite 3, the next Sniper Elite game, yes, based in Africa, uh, we've, we've said goodbye to Berlin, now we are in Africa, and surviving in Africa. Anyway, so, um, I had recently got a chance to play a, uh, a good solid mission of, of the game. Uh, it's actually the same mission that uh, we have shown in previous videos, but this time I actually got hands-on with it as opposed to being, you know, sent gameplay. Um, and this is a mission that essentially will take 40 minutes to complete. Now you're asking, that's pretty mad, Sam. Why is it going to take 40 minutes to complete? Well, it is a big old mission. It is an open world. You can essentially uh, tackle it how you see fit. There, it is not a linear path, and you'll see from some of the gameplay here how, indeed, how unlinear it is. Um, and you could tackle this in many ways. You could go very silent. You could probably only kill two people and get away with it all. You could go in guns blazing, and it would probably go horribly wrong, which it had it does for me at some point. So um, I am I know how bad it is. So I will mention this is a preview build. So things will go wrong. Things have gone wrong. Um, you know, this is a work in progress title right here. But um, <coughs> how fair pass? How 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 fair? How how fair? Fair fair pass? That's the mission. Anyway, uh, essentially, we have to take out three targets, and then we're going to be going on one on one with a tank. Yes, a tank, uh, which in itself was pretty difficult. So the next bit of this uh, this lovely video you're watching right now it's gonna be myself running through this in a very silent fashion so we're gonna we're gonna see some hardcore stealth action it's going quite well and then the shit will inevitably hit the fan um, and we'll cut past some of the errors that I, I do because no one wants to see someone terribly play a game because you might get upset and start crying which I would never want that to happen so uh, we're going to uh, show you those set pieces of destroying things and hopefully you'll get a, a chance to really get a feel for Sniper Elite 3. So here we have a brief uh, fly through of the mission ahead of us. Obviously there are gunpoints we're going to have to watch out for. Then we've got to take out these artillery weapons. That's our main objective there. But obviously we've got to traverse through this world that is very bright. You know, there's not much cover when you're in sunlight and uh, you are in an open, open world. You're not, you know, these are very wide corridors. So a lot of uh, this mission is actually finding these really nice sneaky pathways that you wouldn't normally find. You have to kind of seek them out. Uh, but there's a lot of really nice uh, hidden paths through the map that are going to obviously assist you on your way to doing this a, a very stealth way. And obviously don't forget this is Sniper Elite so you have your binoculars, you can tag enemies, you can find out about their rankings and you know who's a bigger threat to you. You know you obviously want to get rid of the bigger threats. Uh, right here now, in the minimap in the bottom left hand corner, it's obviously telling me uh, that there are people around. I don't know which way they're po you know, staring, facing. I don't know what their uh, perception of the world is. I don't know if they're above me, below me. So you have to be very careful about that. And uh, I'm going to assume that if you uh, play on a harder difficulty setting, that they'll completely turn that off. Um, so you literally probably won't find absolutely anything. So right now, we're actually... Um, at the start of this this map, essentially, um, we're just trying to cross over a, quite a key bridge that is obviously going to get us into the heart of the artillery compound. Um, it's a very pretty game, and I'm, quite, I'm really appreciative of lighting effects like this because uh, obviously it, it kind of does blur your vision and therefore makes it harder for you to uh, sneak about because obviously you can't really see into the light, which... I hear staring at sunlight is pretty dangerous as it is. So there's this this bloke here. And now to just you know throw the body. No no one will no one will notice. Um, and we can continue on across this bridge. First order of business. Find those 88s. So for those 
who are fans of gruff voices, you'll be happy to know that Carl Fairburn here uh, has such a gruff sniper voice. Anyway, so uh, obviously we're going we're going ahead into a, a big area. We've got the sound mask in the top there, but unaware of how many enemies are in the area. And then we realise, whoa, there's quite a lot of them here. So we've got one on the roof, geezer going into the house, uh, and I think there were a few more. The sound masking is actually a a vehicle backfiring over to our right, so we can use that to our advantage. We can also blow that vehicle up uh, when the sound masking goes off, and essentially everyone will be like, what, what's going on? Um, actually, uh, yeah, there's a vehicle backfiring, but sometimes you, you can come across like firing ranges and stuff like that. See that red that red red glowing item that, that is essentially your explosive spot that you want to be firing your your bullets at to cause a right firework party. Now as we come up uh, through this little path around here, obviously we're not gonna go running out into the open. That guy who we've clocked on the roof is gonna spot you and essentially everyone's going to get the alarm is gonna be alerted and it is not going to go very well at all so we're gonna sneak through here and see if there are any <coughs> any guards who might be in our way oh I can hear it German so uh, there is a guy on the end here and he's actually talking to another yeah so there's two more people it's a busy, busy area to be in, but obviously we can uh, we can distract as per usual with throwing rocks. Um, you know, we could we could essentially throw a rock here, get him, line up the shot uh, with a well rod, which is a silenced pistol, and you'll gain uh, additional XP for sort of uh, sorting out these sort of uh, kills well well organized kills you'll get more you'll you'll get uh, more xp for but i was thinking the day i played this i was thinking do you know what i don't want to kill a lot today i really am not in the mood for a lot of killing so i'm going to just sneak on through um and uh see how, you know if i can just get away with murder by not killing anyone that doesn't make any sense but i appreciate that so obviously there's this guy in this house here as you can see now there's guys opposite there's a guy whistling which sadly doesn't count as sound masking which would be amazing in itself and in some of these like compact complexes uh, you can find the hidden items you can also find items that are going to help you on the battlefield so this um, this generator here I can I can uh, get involved in it give it a good punch or an elbow and it's going to start making some serious noise and smoking and uh, that's going to be another distraction for anyone in the area. It's also going to alert a guard. So you see on the mini map there's a yellow guard. He's going to come over and kind of go, what's going on? Um, obviously, you can play this in completely different ways. So I thought we'd kind of uh, play through this a few times. So in this case, I've actually taken out this guard. So I, you can just uh, lay down, wait for him to come round. He, he spotted me there. He's going to go red, which means he's completely alerted. But he didn't have a chance to... Um, uh, alert his his friends to come over and deal with me and that was obviously a premeditated shot there because I lined it up the game knew that I you know I was luring him in with a rock um, and this is a very dangerous game uh, you know enemies will alert, will will spot you if you you know if you're not careful and now we've got to relocate and uh, you know you've got to run 50 meters away from the area and essentially you've now ruined the chance to be stealthy which for some gamers you know you know you might kick themselves and do what I'm doing here and loading the last save so obviously if um, stealth is your thing you can uh, go about sneaking up behind enemies here and t taking taking them out get some isolated takedowns but then if you want to change it up any minute later you could you know see three people why not just throw an M24 grenade at them? That seems like a great idea. Bad day at the office for those guys. Whenever you do alert your enemies, you will need to relocate. So essentially, a big explosion going off. They're going to come over and, and start investigating. 
The only other difference is when it comes to sniping. Essentially, you can snipe as long as you like until they start investigating the area. And that'll be about three or four kills. Lovely look at the new kill cam now. I thought I thought you'd appreciate that. Um, every all, full body this time, so you can even break bones in hands and feet and everything. It's definitely as gruesome as it ever has been. So now we're going to continue forward and actually do an objective. So our job here is to uh, set off some explosives underneath um, an artillery sentry. So the thing in red there is actually a ammo, an ammo box that you're, you you can go pick up your ammo. You can get you go and uh, replenish all your machine gun ammo, your well rod ammo, and your sniper ammo. But you could also shoot that and actually essentially set off a massive fireworks display. Right now though, uh, because at the time you know I'm a professional sniper, I'm not here to make pyrotechnics happen. Uh, we're just going to sneak on through here. We've obviously spotted that guard. We needed to know where he's going to end up. Uh, but that little star, which is 23 meters away, wanted to know uh, if anyone else is in the area. So we're going to head over to that star there, which is in the basement of this building. Um, bad timing here. Oh, better just leg it down the stairs. By leg it, I mean crouch walk, because that's what every professional sniper does. And down into the basement here. Now, obviously, classic, classic uh, game mechanic usually would be there'd be some sweaty red barrel that you'd shoot and everything would go up. Now, obviously, there is a lovely, you know, whoa, explosive barrel. Who put this here? Whoever designed this, this building really is dangerous. Um... We're going to use flint and steel, which essentially is going to set off a, a mini fire. Uh, and then we're going to stand back and uh, watch our own homemade fireworks set off. The next objective, we have to take out this motor pool. There are two tanks sitting and waiting for a day at the office, yet they've been parked next to a big fuel canister. So I guess it would be our job to take that out. So we've made it out alive with no burn marks after blowing up two tanks. 20 minutes of silent crawling later, we find ourselves with a Panzer Shrek on top of an infantry barracks, trying to take out an artillery sentry. Obviously, getting away with that sort of uh, that sort of activity is is hard work. So we're going to get out of here. We've dealt with three of the objectives. Now to move on and find out what exactly this fi third and final objective might just be. Yep, you've guessed it. We're going to take out a tank. Come back tomorrow when we do just that. <laughs> 